Yesterday in the morning, we visited the Kellen Group of Europe. And what the Kellen Group does, it's a company that, um, in essence, lobbies to the European Union, tries to organize companies, build them up, and get their interests represented. And um, we were presented to by two men who um, work to contact the different uh, parliament members and the commission members of the EU. And they talked to us, they gave us a real in-depth understanding of how the EU works at the parliamentary level. And also they talked to us about the process of lobbying, how it's not just like a really sketchy, like hand the money under the table type of thing. But what it really is, is the par because the European Union is so big, they need help understanding um, each of the different industries and the lobbyists, they're just there to give them some information. After the speakers, we went to the African Museum. Um, it's uh, a museum in Belgium uh, where basically they go into the history of the colonization of the Congo region of Africa. Determine what you think Belgium, how, determine what you think Belgium's story is that it is projecting to the world about its history in the Congo. There's a lot of African artwork and stuff like that there um, representing the different tribes. We went to Brenda today. Uh, it was really intense. It was a, a Nazi concentration camp, not an extermination camp, but a concentration camp. And so you have to, how should I say, read this place from 42, not as a classical uh, Nazi camp or a concentration camp, but rather as the privileged prison of Gestapo and Sicherheitspolizei in Belgium and northern France to eliminate the resistance. They had to do lots of hard labor for really no purpose at all other than to just wear them down and it was it was really it was really intense. So this is Castle Gravenstein, and uh, it's a medieval castle um, built uh, in the late medieval period, which we learned about in class. Uh, so we're here today to look at it, see if we recognize anything. There was a small torture museum, uh, there's a cathedral. And everything in a castle has a very specific purpose. They never waste anything when building a castle. So everywhere there's rivets for archers to shoot out of, there's um, the, the windows are carved in such a way that you can shoot arrows in as many angles as you need to. Um, there are toilets scattered around everywhere. Um, the walls are all very thick. They're built to last. Um, and uh, they're, they're built with materials that can be easily uh, called forth to, to replace anything that might fall apart. Um, and uh, the torture museum harkens to the culture of death that grows uh, during the time of the plague and the Hundred Years' War. It was really cool. They, the spiral staircases go up around and around and around, and you get to overlook the entire city, the entire city of Gaint. You can actually look behind me and see the whole city. After Gravenstein, we went to. I, I we all split off and did different things, and I went to the, the belfry, the famous Ghent belfry, um, and there was incredible views. From, from the very top. It was, it was really, really high up. 